welcome to day 4 lab 1 in this lab we'll try to understand a very important concept called as class and objects okay now uh, what we have here so till now we have created this nice customer data entry screen where we can go and enter the customer name uh, cust country name and then once we click on preview it shows us uh, you know the complete output we have entered you know in the same way the way we have data entry screens you know I also would like to have such some kind of a search screen where a user can go and do searching by using customer name or country name okay so let me go and create a new form here you know where a person can go and type in the customer name and click on the search button and as soon as he clicks on the search button you know all the data will be displayed in a grid right so let me close this application here and let me go to my solution explorer so view solution explorer and I will go and add a form here so let me go and add a very simple form here and let's click on windows form here and let's create a new form called as frm search customers so the first thing is let's go to the toolbox and drag and drop a text box and a button okay so in the text box the user can go and type in the customer name and then hit the button you know that button we can name it as a search button okay so let me go and first put a label here saying that yes uh, a label a text box and a button okay so I'll say that in this label I'll say yes this saying enter customer name enter customer name and uh, this text box I'll give it as txt search customer so I'll say txt search customer and the button I will give a nice name here saying btn search customer and in the text I will that the display right on the button currently is button one which doesn't look good so we'll say search customer great so we have a nice uh, screen here now you know where a person can go and enter the customer name and he can hit on the search button now the time hits on the search button all the data will be displayed in a grid so let's go to a toolbox here and let's go and search for the grid control so go and expand the data section over here and on this data section you can see there's a nice control here called as a data grid view now remember that there are a lot of controls there to display data in a grid but this data grid view is the most used control so in our application we're going to use this so let's go and drag and drop this data grid view here and for now don't do anything just keep it as it is and uh, I'll say that yes when the user goes and types in a customer name and hits the search button it will go and display the data inside this grid view now also what we have what we like to do is we'd like to go and you know uh, add this form to our menu to our MDI parent menu okay so let me go and add one more menu item here so I'll say insert menu item and we'll call this menu as uh, search customer right so as you know as soon as somebody clicks on the search customer you know that's that form will be displayed that is frm search customer so let's double click on this menu and we'll say here this is our form name that is frm search customer so we'll say frm search customer obj is equal to new frm search customer you know in this today's uh, what you call class you know we're going to understand about this new keyword and objects so till now you know whichever you know this code which you which you were typing monotonously you will try to understand the concept about the same okay so I'll say obj dot MDI parent please refer this as your MDI parent so MDI parent is this and I'll say obj dot show right great so uh, now if I do a control F5 so I can see that I have a nice search customer here also I can go and enter data by using the data entry screen so you can see that now our application has started taking up its shape right now we would like to go and start putting some validations here in other words now you can see that you know if uh, if you see both the screens right one of the validations which we would like to put is if the end user does not enter the customer name we would like to give him an alert saying that customer name is compulsory for example this customer data entry screen here right if the person doesn't put any data here and if he clicks on the preview button I would like to 
you know put up an alert saying that customer name is compulsory in the same way you know <clears throat> over here also you know if he uh, doesn't put anything over here and hits the search customer then i would like to put an alert screen here or alert message saying that please enter some data all right so for that i'll quickly go and start putting the validations so let's go here so let's go to view solution explorer so in the create customer when he clicks on the preview button so we will say here if txt customer name dot text dot length if it is equal to zero then uh, let's go and put a message box here so we'll say message box dot show we'll say customer name is very much compulsory okay and you know if he comes inside this if condition i'll just say uh, return false you know i'll just return back from here in other words i don't want the program to start executing the other lines of code down below okay and the same kind of validation i will also put in my search customer here so when anybody clicks on the search customer so let me go to my search customer here so anybody if he, anybody who clicks on this search customer and he does not put any data into this text box the same kind of logic i will put over here so here we'll say again the same kind of logic we'll say txt customer name txt search customer dot text with length equal to zero we'll say message box dot show customer name is compulsory and again from here we'll say return back you know and we do not want you know the below lines of code to execute so in other words you know here the execution will not come if the customer name is not entered okay it will just return back from the if condition right so while we were coding this while i was coding this logic right this validation logic did you notice that we have started entering into a typical problem the problem is duplicate coding the check of customer name length zero is over here as well as in our create screen okay and tomorrow you know for heaven's sake if you if someone says that okay i want to put one more uh, validation here saying okay the length is zero and you know the length should be less than five characters or let's just let's than 10 characters so you will go and modify here you will put one more and condition here and also you will go and modify here right and let's say if you have hundreds of screens like this you know which is very much possible when you have a big project you are going and putting things everywhere which will become a maintenance nightmare so you know if somehow we are able to take this logic and centralize it in some place and then call it you know that would really uh, make everyone's life easier and that's where you know we have something called as classes so what i'll do is let me go and add a class file now a class file is you know you can think about a class as a template a template you know where you go and put your reusable uh, code and then you know that class can be called you know from your code anywhere you know by creating objects okay so first thing let's go ahead and add a class so let's click on add new item and we'll say class and this class name we'll say as validations okay or i'll say common code you know must be that's more appropriate here you know because it's possible that i will put length check i'll put some other check email check or whatever it is and here i will say okay go and create a simple simple subroutine here a simple function which returns true or false and i'll say check validation and to this check validation function i'll go and pass the customer name okay and i will put all my validations over here now what will happen with this approach is that you know if tomorrow you want to go and do modifications right you will just go and modify in this place here you know rather than modifying everywhere else okay so let me go and make this as a public class so that it can be called everywhere right so i'll say here if customer name dot length if it is equal to zero then i will say return false right or else everything is fine and you return true now this is going very good very nice 
we have centralized our code into this class called as common code but now the next thing is that how do we call this class you know in those forms you know if you remember right the definition what i said about the class is that class is a template it is a blueprint okay now in order to use the class in your form you have to create something called as the object so let's go to a form now and we'll try to create an object and we'll try to invoke this check validation function here so let us go first to the search screen so let's go here and we'll say here okay first we have to create the object of the class then we say create the object of the class means you know bring that class code live into the memory so that it can be invoked so i'll say here uh, the name of our class was common code so i'll say here please go ahead and create the object of common code so we'll say common code object is equal to new common code so this new key keyword signifies that you know bring this code alive into memory and then we can say okay now i would like to go and check if obj dot check validation you know so give your text box data now to this object here now you know if the validation is equal to false in other words if he returns false you know then you'll say that okay you'll go and display this message here saying customer uh, name is compulsory okay in the same way i'll take this code here i'll copy paste this code for now and i will go to my create customer here and i will paste the code here also so now what has happened is definitely here the text box name is different i think txt customer name right so now what has happened is you know all the validations checks are now done from this function here called as check validation which is centralized in this common code class in simple words you know if tomorrow if you want to go and change any kind of logic regarding the customer name validation we just go and update in this place and it gets updated all over my forms okay so in other words you know classes you know helps you to increase reusability so you know rather than scattering your code in different user interfaces you know just go ahead and create a class and then you know basically go and create objects of those classes you know wherever you need in your user interface right so you know just revising classes are templates while objects you know they bring life into the class so that you can invoke the class logic you know from your user interface or from any place you want okay so i hope that you know you enjoyed this video in this video we were trying to understand you know how uh, classes and objects you know helps you to increase reusability uh, in your c sharp applications now as usual you know i would like you to go and see some videos again for today and these videos are very very important because when we talk about classes and objects we enter into a different world altogether called as object oriented programming so what my suggestion would be go and log into your questpon video account go and search you know for object oriented programming q and a video series now you can see there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 i think 15 or 16 videos are there in this uh, each one of them must be like 10 minutes you know so you can think about must be 2 or 3 hours so for today you know i will not be taking any more new labs you know but i would like you guys to go and see all these videos take your days off don't do too much practical but go and see all these videos and try to understand you know the four important principles of object oriented programming inheritance polymorphism encapsulation uh, and uh, abstraction okay so i would like you know you to go and see all these videos and uh, in case you have any kind of questions always go ahead and you know add us on skype you know so that we can help you out so in today's lab you know what we did is we were trying to understand what are classes and objects and at the same time you know i have introduced to you a complete different chapter altogether called as object oriented programming series and i would like you guys to go and see them step by step one by one and meet you again tomorrow for day 6 you know where we will go and uh, you know get into a new thing called as databases so i hope that you enjoy this video in the next day we will talk about databases